The big quiz challenged teams to answer questions set by celebs from Soaps and Screen in aid of the Zero Suicide Alliance. It's still there for you to take part in for the next few weeks online. We'll find out uh, how you can get involved in a minute. But the quiz was hosted by legendary quiz master Roy Walker, who I'm delighted to welcome onto the show this afternoon. Hi, Roy. Hi, Claire. Nice to speak to you today. This all happened on Friday, this big quiz. So how did it go? Yeah, well, thank you for inviting me on the program, first of all. It seemed to go very, very well, uh, making people, the awareness of people to this terrible, terrible thing that's happening, especially to a lot of young people. And there were, it, sorry, there were, there were celebrities asking quite rounds of questions. So how did that work and who took part? Well, they're uh, what he called zero heroes, uh, of which uh, the Alliance sort of trained people up nearly, Two million people, Claire, in the world, nearly two million are there for anyone that's uh, feeling really bad about themselves or they can't talk to their family or their friends or anything. The the heroes are there for them and uh, to help in times of need like this. You know, so the quiz was to get everybody involved and to make everybody aware of this terrible, terrible pandemic, which is, uh, you know, every 90 minutes, two people take their life. So it was a very important cause um, and the Zero Suicide Alliance is there to, to help and support people. Why is it important to, to you to support them and the work they do? Well, if, I could, if, if it were possible for me, uh, who's, who's nearly at the end of his life and whatever, to help someone to, just to save their life, I, I think that's worth doing. You know, So the quiz is a way of making them aware if there is help out there for you. Yeah, and you mentioned obviously the pandemic and the effect that it's had on lots of people's mental health with not being able to do the things that they might love or see friends and family. That's impacted a, a lot of people. Well, I think you've hit the nail on the head there, Claire, because people need their friends and need to see their friends. And they, Have you any idea how many people have lost the uh, the ability to communicate since the pandemic, you know, to actually do face to face. How are you? Talk nonsense or banter, as we call it in Ireland. I'm sure you have a special name for it in Liverpool. Uh, yeah. People have lost that, and uh, will they get it back? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, and I think part of something that did keep people together, particularly in in, in the early lockdowns, was doing quizzes with their friends and family. I did, you know, my, I've got little kids and we did a quiz, uh, you know, remotely with my mum and dad and things like, you know, scavenger hunts with them online and, and quizzes that the kids set for, for my mum and dad. Those kind of communal yeah. experiences, doing quizzes together is was a great thing, even though we couldn't be in the same place. The big Pardon? quiz, Roy, is still yeah. online then if people want to take yeah, part in this yeah, quiz. They are. Yeah, they can do. It's very, very important. So it is. Uh, if it, you, could, you know, if you can dig deep and donate, you could actually save somebody's life. That's why I'm doing it. 